am I doing? So today we're going to be talking about my lips, or should I say, my lack of them. As numerous people have pointed out in the comment section of my videos, I have thin lips. I'm gonna be honest and just say that I don't really care at all, but it did inspire today's video, so here we are. So today's video is going to consist of me researching on the internet some ways to get bigger, fuller lips and then testing those methods. So disclaimer, I'm not doing this because I'm like insecure about my lips or something, or I actually want to change them. I just thought that this would be fun, so you're coming along for the journey. Let's see what Google has to say about this. How to get bigger lips. Five ways to make your lips bigger. WikiHow. WikiHow is obviously the way to go. Invest in a lip plumping product. Okay. You know what, maybe I'll go out and get a lip plumper because that could be a fun field trip. It says, drink enough water, don't lick your lips. Ah, you better stop! Don't tell me what to do. Don't smoke, check, got it, nailing it. Exercising your lips and then it has this girl going. Are they bigger yet? Commit to exercising your lips every day. It may take up to four weeks. Who has that kind of time? Not me. You know what, this article is not helpful and it's boring. We need how to make your lips bigger fast. Some of this is just makeup tips, like, no. Six natural ways to get fuller lips without surgery. Add a mixture of cinnamon and olive oil together and apply on your lips. Cinnamon is, they forgot to use a period. Can I trust this website now that they've made a grammar mistake and obviously no one proofread this? I'm going to anyway. Right under that, it also says ice. So icing your lips temporarily will compress your blood vessels to make them red and plump. Massaging an ice cube on your lips for two minutes will give you instant results. First of all, they used the phrase compress your blood vessels. So clearly this is backed up by science. So it must work. And second of all, they said instant results and that's what we're all about. So we're definitely trying this one. Okay, all right. We gotta try these now. I just spent a good 15 minutes attaching my camera to my dashboard with duct tape, so buckle up. We are en route to Ulta to hopefully find a lip plumper that will satisfy our needs. Hopefully Ulta has what we're looking for. I don't really know exactly what I'm looking for, but hopefully it has something. I'll be back. 12 seconds later. I went in there and the first girl I saw, I was like, have you heard of any good lip plumpers? And she was like, yeah, this one. And then I just bought it. It's the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme Edition because we go hard here. Also because I'm an idiot and just blindly trust anyone, I didn't look at the price at all. And it was $28 when I got to the register. So this better freaking make my lips fat. Hope you enjoyed my haul. Let's drive home now. So I want to listen to music on the way home, but I don't want to get this video taken down for copyright, so we're going to play a fun game. Here's how this is going to work. I'm going to jam out to my songs, but then when I edit this video, I'm going to mute them, and then down in the comments, you guys are going to guess which songs I'm lip syncing to. This person is judging me so hard. I'm so embarrassed right now. Thank you for playing. Let's see what all this has to say before we go ahead and try it. It says, instantly sexy lips, 93% said lips look fuller and more plump, 97% said delivers instant results, and 97% said lips felt moisturized. Those are some pretty good statistics. I don't know what demographic or how many consumers they used, but you can't argue with the facts, can you? This is long. What? The note just says, you may experience a slightly intense tingle that can last up to five to 10 minutes. Apply only within perimeter of lips. If applied on skin, a temporary redness may occur. If any discomfort is present, remove and discontinue use. Keep away from children. I'm like weirdly nervous. I don't really know 
how much I'm supposed to put on, but I like the feeling of it, so I just keep putting it on. So far, nothing is happening. Yeah, I feel it now, just a little bit. Is it weird that I kind of like the tingling feeling? So far, the stages that I've experienced with this is feeling nothing at all, and then feeling just a little bit of tingling, and then a little bit of a burning sensation. Nothing serious or anything, but feels kind of hot. And then now it kind of just feels a little numb. I feel like they look bigger. Maybe I just want my $28 to be worth it, but I feel like it looks bigger. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a thumbs up and say that it did work. It's a little bit difficult to compare, but in my personal opinion, I feel like they do look a little bit bigger and fuller. And there was definitely a tingling sensation, so I felt like something was happening. I don't know how long this effect is gonna last, but the nice thing about this method is you can just take this along with you, and then anytime you feel that it starts to wear off, you can just reapply. Even if it wasn't super effective in plumping my lips, it's still a really nice lip gloss. Like, my lips look glossy, and they feel really moisturized, which is good, so overall, I would say that I recommend this. On to the next method. According to my extensive research, Another way is through hydration, so bottoms up. <laughs> Clearly that didn't work. My lips look exactly the same, so I'm a little bit disappointed. That was a joke. I'm hilarious, I know. For the next one, we gotta go to the kitchen, so... We out here, boys. The next method we're going to be trying is the olive oil and cinnamon one. Hopefully, I can find those ingredients in here somewhere. Distilled vinegar, ooh, olive oil, got him. I am literally the most annoying human being on the planet. Ooh, found it. Hooray. Yeah, so I'm 100% certain that there's an exact, precise recipe out there, but we're just gonna wing it. Here goes nothing. Oh, <laughs> for real this time, okay. That's probably good. Literally have no idea what I'm doing. Yeah? If anyone is concerned about my cooking skills after watching that, don't be because I already know that I suck, so. Here's my creation. Beautiful, I know. Should I use my finger? Uh, <laughs> this makes me uncomfortable. I kinda hate it a lot. I don't really know what I just did. My review on the whole cinnamon shenanigans is that it's kind of stupid. I will say that my lips do feel pretty soft because they were just kind of exfoliated. However, it definitely didn't have the same strength as the lip plumper that I tried did because the lip plumper you could actually feel like changing and getting all tingly and that really just felt weird. The whole process is just kind of impractical, like you have to gather all your ingredients, make the actual thing, you make a mess, you have to slather weird stuff on your lips, like all of that for pretty much no results. We're done with that. I don't know why I keep... While we're in the kitchen, we might as well try the ice cube method. Supposedly, you just take an ice cube and hold it up to your lips for like two minutes and then magic happens. I don't know. Isn't she a beaut? Here we go. This is really cold. I don't like it. Uh, I feel really dumb just rubbing this across my lips. Three, two, one. They felt kind of lumpy on the inside for a second. They are definitely a little tingly. For the ice cube one, I feel like it did work a little bit. It's not as drastic of a result as the lip plumper from Too Faced, but I feel like it honestly did plump them a bit. Although I feel like it's wearing off pretty fast. I could see someone like wanting to take a selfie or an Instagram picture or something and doing this and then taking the picture right after so the effect is still there. This one worked more than the cinnamon one. So, that's pretty good. So those are all the methods that I'm going to be testing. I'm convinced that my lips are still small. If you were looking for actual advice as to how to get bigger lips, this probably wasn't that helpful. I don't know why you clicked on this video because I can't take anything seriously, but I will say that the lip plumper from Too Faced is definitely your best bet. If you liked it, please let me know. And also, if you want me to do more of this kind of style of testing video, 
comment down below what I should test next because you guys are smarter than I am. Adios. <laughs>